This I wanna name sports to the one Top blog at top YouTube channel No matter we sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell Hey what's up sports to the bone family What's up what's up how are you guys doing Shout out to you all Alright so from the other day Mr. Shamran hits Maya his name has been circling around and around the new um the, the 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 news media right around the place now i have some positive news coming out of guyana and you know the the coach is talking up a storm the, the the coach of the guyana team i think they are now called the guyana guyana harpy eagles right that is what they are known as now the guyana harpy eagles so they are saying well i am on the guyana times and they are talking about hetmeyer and kimo paul being two leaders in the team and you know the team is really confident with them being in it and they are expected to be good role models and play leading roles so they say at age 23 and 25 years old respectively Kimo Paul and Shemran Hetmeyer have, a collective, have collectively played 19 test matches and 61 first class matches Paul would have featured in 3 test matches while Shemran Hetmeyer would have played 16 they said despite that amount of experience in the red ball format the Guyanese duo who are you know present for the re for the regional competition they are expected to bring great value to the Guyana Harpy Eagles setup so these are two guys that would have played international cricket they are now back with their regional team and they are expected to do some work for their team now the head coach Ethan Crandon is quoted as saying and I quote you know when you have international players these guys would have started like the younger folks in the team now are in the setup their job is to be good role models to the players i think their presence in the group would lift the spirit and everything and we always ask the senior guys to lead by example that is what crandon is saying and it is he's right my viewers and subscribers because if you have somebody like a hitmeyer and akima paul who would have played international cricket you know test cricket and they would have played franchise cricket around the world they have good experience so you know it is only fair to ask them to hear what not only show that they are they are burdened by making runs or in chemo paws um you know in chemo paws own to to take wicket and to make runs but also to to lead to to show the youngsters the way or, or to show the guys that wouldn't have played international cricket how it is done but you have to be a professional and you have to set a certain standard or else you cannot say anything to anybody if you are not working at a certain level or a certain standard you cannot then go to a young man or a youngster in the team and say do this or do that he will not listen to you any at all so that is something that they, they need to bear in mind so let me just read some more of this article here it says in the ongoing Guyana Harpy Eagles best, um, best of the best four day match at the Albion both Paul and Hethmeyer are in the team right and they say Paul is the captain of one team while Leon Johnson leads the other team earlier Crandon noted that the trial uh, match at the Albion would aim to get these players in the right frame of mind and I am happy I am happy that they are actually getting an opportunity to play you know this is what you want to see the other teams around the region doing um, Crandon is quoted as saying to get the guys in good groove and good frame of mind to play four-day cricket batting for long periods scoring big hundreds picking up wickets bowling long spells being able to concentrate for long periods of time being able to think and perform under pressure you need them to to to, to get this sort of um, practice right so that is good and i said that um that the first game would be a good um gauge for us uh taking from that first uh taken from that first game into the next games and we are looking to improve as we go on from game to game and he said that they are trying to build a momentum for the four-day competition that is coming up you know and i as i said guys it is a positive it is a positive look it is a good look because we are the ones that are complaining about not getting an opportunity to see you know to see enough four-day cricket and are we and we don't have a good pool of players to select from so that if they are if they are going to going to do this then you know i i am hoping that it will pay off in the four-day competition and we will have a couple of them coming through that we can depend on now just to just to finish up they are talking about paul and hetmeyer some information here they say in past 22 first class uh, matches he would have scored 710 runs with one century and two fifties the bowling all around averaged 22 with the bat 
and an impressive 18 with the ball for the 88 wickets in only 39 innings right they say he has the best bowling figures of 6 for 28 and a best match all of 10 for 129 so very good there from Kimo Paul we know he's a bowling all round up has a little a lot of tricks and a lot of trickery with the ball and things so he's going to be expected to take some wickets for his team and also to chip in with the bat now where Hetmeyer is concerned um, he would have scored 2,125 first class runs in 70 innings at an average of 31.71 and he would have recorded one one century and 1250s in the 39 matches career thus far right um he's going to need to improve on that we're, we're converting his concern because if you have one century and so many 50s it's just so that you are always getting the start but it's either you are you are losing concentration or you know the longer your bat then 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 the weaker you become or something but whatever the issue is Hetmeyer will definitely need to work it out to make sure that he, he you know I, I would mind if he put up two or three centuries it doesn't matter if he's playing against Jamaica in the tournament and him score a, a double century a hundred or a two hundred I don't care I couldn't care less I just want him to get some runs and get into the frame of mind of playing test cricket because we know that we know that the young man love the franchise cricket and we can't blame him but sometimes if you if you're bad for long periods of time and you're scoring runs you ought to tell him i get in the groove and feel like you need to play some 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 um some red ball cricket and and you know go you know, occupy the crease for 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 a period of time so that is it where shaman hetmeyer is concerned i want him to go out there and start converting those 50s into hundreds you understand you can't be so talented and in 70 innings you, you score um one century and 1250s no man he, you know we, we, we definitely need him to, to step it up step it up mr shaman hetmeyer and and the same thing can be said about the other players you know that are going to be performing it's just because we're talking about hetty now and you know the reason why i keep on talking about him so much is because i see the talent and i am imagining imagining what he's what he what he you know is capable of but as they say if you have the talent and you're not putting in the work then doesn't really make any sense so you know one will just have to hope that Shemran will be able to go out there and dominate and do what is necessary to get on the radar of the selectors and you know last night when we were on the live you know it was brought up that in his in his half century that he made i think 69 or something like that he only had three boundaries so that means he was back and forth back and forth running singles which is very good you know as i as i would have indicated that is the sort of distance that you need to run back and forth when you're doing the yo-yo test so it could be a, it could be the, the, the case where he's trying to work on his fitness you know trying to work himself in so yeah man if, if you come up against some bowling that you think you should be able to dominate you know you, you, you can't hit your fours and your six but right now based on where you, where Hetmeyer's career is at you know I think he's doing the right thing start to pace himself but for long periods of time and see if he can go out there and 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 run some singles run some twos push for some trees where it is next arm um, where it is possible and and get himself into some good nick because as I said spots are always up for grab in West Indies team it's not like some of these team around the world we see Australia playing and you know they have Travis Ed and Harris and Kowaja you know all of, all of these guys that can play in the same role we don't have so we don't have that sort of luxury and even if we have guys that can play in the same role maybe not they are, they are not as effective you understand so that is why we definitely want to see um, this young man go out there and get some runs in the four day competition but yeah my viewers and subscribers yeah man um, later on later on uh, we won't get a chance to go live at all so hopefully i will get a chance to do a little watch along um in the in the morning tomorrow when the when the when the game is going to be played so yeah that is basically it for this one my viewers and subscribers just continue to big up yourself if you have not yet subscribed hit the subscribe button turn on the post notification bell and also remember to leave a comment right leave a respectful comment you know i have it's it's good when you disagree with me and we can debate you know no issue with that but we want to keep it respectful so we can have a civil conversation back and forth back and forth because you will probably notice by now for the guys that go on and put on certain comments that are disrespectful is either i won't comment or i will delete it and move on but we can have civil conversations um even if we disagree so that is something that we that we definitely want to want to grow in the channel you know in the comment section there and if i don't get a chance to answer all of the comments you know it's because a lot of them coming in and i am only one person so you don't know it go my peeps so just go and big up on yourselves in 
Yeah man, let's go more.